dear students, we will learn second lecture. This lecture is named Language and Speech Levels. You know very well language is very important in our life because um, from this language we can achieve a lot of success and uh, we can develop our um, nation's life and uh, republics and states life. So let's today learn about language and speech levels. The plan of my lecture today we will discuss these problems with you. The first problem language and speech levels and the second one primary and secondary levels and the third one units of levels and the next one the difference between language and speech. What are the uh, language? Language has its own two main levels. The first basic level, uh, second name of this language, uh, primary level, and the next one non-basic. We can say as a secondary uh, levels also. What are they? If a level has its own units, this level is qualified as basic and or primary level. If a level doesn't have a unit of its own, it will be non-basic level or secondary level. What are they? Let's, um, I give you example. Uh, I go to school every day. The sentence has its own units because it has um, phonetic level, it has morphological level, and it has uh, lexical level, and it has sentence structure also. This is the basic level. But an apple a day keeps doctor away. You know, it is a proverb, uh, very famous and active proverb among the speech in our, uh, among the nation's communications. So this proverb has also its language levels, but it has not own levels in a, uh, stylistic devices because uh, it helps from the basic levels. It will be non-basic secondary level. Next, next one, language, speech levels and their units. Uh, in linguistics, we discussed about the language and, and their units and speech and their units. The first of all, number of them. Linguists uh, discuss it uh, differently. Some of them uh, consider there are four. Some of them add uh, extra um, another levels among on them, and so uh, widespread the number of language and speech units they are. The first phonological or phonetical level. This they are units phone or phoneme. And the second one, morphological level. They are units morpheme and morph. And the third one, lexicological level. They are units lexeme and lex. And the next one about syntax. Syntax also is subdivided into two. Syntax minor and syntax major. The units of the syntax minor Mm. is sentence, the unit, sorry, and the, the unit of the syntax major is a text. What are they? Let's, let's look or let's learn about them. The first of all, my dear students, I should mention, I should give some information about this famous linguistics. Who is he? He's a famous Russian linguist, and the lexicographer, and he was doctor of biological science, and he was professor, and he um, wrote a lot of uh, philological uh, books, which are useful for us today. And he was born in 1905 in Simferopol. He was born in a Jewish family. Uh, he was very famous linguist, so my dear students, we should know about him and we shouldn't forget about him. And Galperin, uh, Galperin, 
his name was Galfern. Galfern gave us about the uh, linguistic level as such. According to Galfern, the expressive means of a language and the, are those phonetic means and philological forms, means of word building and lexical, phraseological and syntactical form. All of which function in the language for emotional and the logical intensification of the utterance. This uh, intensifying forms of, a, of the language wrote by social usage and recognized by the semiotic function have fixed in grammars and dictionaries. This, is, this was uh, Galtern's opinion about the uh, language and speech levels. Let's see next information. Language levels, what are they? Language levels are substituted by the term of emic level. And the second, speech levels, what are they? Speech levels are substituted by the ethic levels. It's very important to take into account these distinctions when considering the language and speech units. There are some conceptions according to which the terms of language levels are substituted by the term of emic level. While the speech levels I mentioned to you about the speech levels. Speech levels are substituted by the ethic levels. Very often these terms are used interchangeably. So uh, let's discuss it about each of these levels. The first level is the lowest level in hierarchy. It is a phonological level. This level is also subdivided into two parts you know, speech levels and uh, language levels. Language levels unit is phonology. Speech levels unit is phonetics. What are they? Phonology is a level that deals with language units. Phonetics is the level which deals with speech units. This level is lowest level, the first one, and the second one, this level is smallest level, but it has no meaning. And in this level, we can learn about uh, pronunciation, about sounds, about how we can say, um, how to pronounce all letters or sounds. Uh, we can learn what it is vowel sounds, what, what is uh, consonant sounds and others. This level, this level has, uh, how we can say, shape, but it has no meaning. This is the first language level. And the next one. Next one, second level, is a morphological level. Uh, second level um, in the hierarchy, morphological, it's also subdivided into two parts. You know, language levels and the speech levels. All of them have their own units. Uh, language level has its uh, unit is morpheme and uh, speech levels has its unit is a morph. What are they? Morpheme uh, consists of mm, two or more letters and it's also mm, small, it's also a small unit, but uh, the difference between the first level, they, they have meaning. So this level, smallest level, and they have meaning. They are meaningful units, my dear students. Next one. Uh, next level is third level. It's called lexicological. Uh, 
this is very important because in communication always we need words and we need active words and new words and we should know the meaning of this word when we use during the conversation. Uh, what is it lexical level? Uh, the level of the lexicology level of the language level is lexeme and uh, speech uh, unit is, is lex. Lexeme, lexeme is a language unit of the lexicology level which has nominate function. Lex is a speech unit of the lexicology level which has also a nominate function. So you can say both lexeme and lex um, nominate something or um, name things, actions, phenomena, quality, quantity, and so on. So in one word we can say lexical level uh, function uh, nominate something or somebody. So it's also very important level in our conversation. Next, the last level, it's very um, complex level, and the fourth level, it is a syntax. Syntax, we should know, my dear students, syntax we should subdivide into two main parts, syntax minor and syntax major. What are they? What are the difference between them? Syntax minor, the term syntax minor is a common one for both language and speech levels and they are unit sentence is also one communication term for language and speech units. So don't forget about it. In syntax level uh, syntax minor, we learn about sentence, how it constructs uh, the functions of the sentence, construction of the sentence, so in this part we will learn deeply about sentence. The linguistics hasn't yet worked out spirit terms for this purpose about sentence, Mm, which use it for uh, language and uh, speech levelless units. Next. Next, last part, syntax major. Syntax major represents both language and speech levels due to the absence of spirit term as well as text. It is used homogeneously for both language and speech units. In this level, my dear students, uh, we learn about text. You know, text is very complex process. You know, text consists of not only uh, other levels. It should consist of paragraphs and a lot of um, sentences, different construction of sentence. This is a very complex process. This is the last level of the language and speech levels. Next, language and speech units are interconnected and interdependent, my dear students. Um, you think, uh, Without language, it can't be speech. Without speech, it can't be language. They are interdependent and interconnected. Next. In this lecture, I want mention to, to mention about very famous linguist and his theory and his uh, rules about language and speech. Every student every student must know the difference between language and speech. It's very important. So the distinction between language and speech, the first, the first time was made by Ferdinand de Saussure. He was Swiss scholar, Ferdinand de Saussure, usually credited uh, with establishing principles of modern linguistics. 
according to Ferdinand de Saussure, um, the differences between language and speech are the following um, rules. The first, language is abstract and speech is concrete. Uh, you know, it's very um, right because language is common for everybody. Uh, speech is concrete. When we want to speak uh, or to make a speech uh, in one place, we should prepare or we should, uh, how we can say, get the materials and others. So, speech is concrete. Second difference between language and speech, language is common general for barriers while speech is individual and the sad difference about them language is stable less changeable while speech tends to changes and the last difference between them language is a closed system and its units are limited while speech tends to be openness and endless. To illustrate the difference between language and speech, let us compare a defined game of chess and set of rules how to play chess. In this, in this place, I want to uh, say about this information. Uh, look, look at this information. Language is a closed system. Speech tends to be open and endless. What do they mean? Language closed system. You know, um, every day, for example, you cannot add um, any information on this language level. But speech is openness. For example, time by time, um, time passes, um, and we can. Uh, learn new words uh, and uh, if the, how we can say, science or industry is developing new words, comes from them. Uh, for example, uh, in Uzbek, I can say uh, Uzbek example. In old times, we address to our teachers Domula, um, and uh, other types of core and others. Nowadays, we address to our teacher, ustaz, muallam, muallama, or um, uh, first name uh, and plus surname. For example, um, Ahmad Toshmatovich and etc. Ahmad Abdullayev and etc. So, this is the uh, uh, speech is opens. Next one, Ferdinand de Sessio. Who was Ferdinand de Sessio? The first of all, I want to say about him. He was the father of linguistics. He was. Why? Because he, he, uh, he gave us very significant information about linguistics and he gave us foundation of linguistics, foundation materials of general linguistics. Ferdinand de Saussure was a Swiss linguist, Semyotchen. His ideas laid a foundation for many significant developments in both linguistics and semiology in the 20th century. He is widely considered one of the founders of the 20th century linguistics and one of the two major founders of semiotics and semiology. Uh, nowadays, you also learn general linguistics. He was founder of this general linguistics. So, all linguists consider him as the father of linguistics. Next, what is the difference between speech and language and communication? Let's, let's watch this video and after this video we will discuss about it. Speech is our actual production of speech sounds using our articulators such as your lips, your tongue, and your teeth. So it's the production of your s or another one would be your er, um, so you are clearly understood. 
Um, the language refers to um, the words that we use and how we use them to either convey or understand a meaningful message. Um, so one example would be um, to be able to formulate a grammatical sentence, knowing that you have to use the correct tense, the correct word order, to be able to communicate it effectively. And then communication is kind of that overall umbrella term that refers to how we use our speech or how we use our language um, to communicate socially with one another. So it's the ability to get across our wants and needs or um, to understand how someone else is feeling or um, to express how we are feeling ourselves. So my dear students from this video, uh, you can see and you can discuss the differences between language and speech. From this video, you uh, know um, the, difference, uh, the difference between the language and speech are very significant. Next, language is opposite to speech and according language units are opposite to speech units. The language unit for me uh, is opposite to the speech unit sound phone. As for example, as it is the sound s, s can sound different in speech s and d. Sentence is opposite to the utterance. The text is opposite is to the discourse. Text, uh, different texts we consider text but written text it will be discourse today we will learn about these uh, words and these terms scientific terms linguistic terms level level is part or stage of system or language unit unit is individual part phoneme phoneme individual speech sound that makes one word different from another and morpheme morpheme is the smallest unit and meaningful unit in a language next one lexeme lexeme a word or a group of words that has a meaning that connect cannot be understood from the meaning of the parts which it consists. They are terms, uh, today's lectures are uh, significant terms. My dear students, you should prepare uh, by the helping of these questions for the seminar lessons, for the next lessons. This, they are que the questions which you should uh, find the answers for them. Next, this is a literature, useful literature, which you can uh, learn deeply this material, this subject, and you can find extra information from them. This is a useful uh, literature for today's lecture. Thank you for your attention. I wish you, all of you, health, strong health. Thank you.